Yo, it's Guido coming at you with a tactics talk and a world record damage in a T103. World record. This is Scorpiani, and he posted this on the forum. So I stole it <laughs> to make a video on it. But he claimed it was a world record in damage in the T103, which is a Russian Tier 8 premium TD that has a turret. Very important. Lots of armor on the turret. Really good gun. Decent mobility bad whole armor and some good gun depression so it can fight like a hold down heavy slash medium that's that's its ability it's a super tall a little bit ungainly at times but scorp was doing a three mark session he's one of these uh, three mark fetish guys <laughs> that's my term for it now three mark fetish anyway <laughs> good player got a lot of uh, performance out of the t103 you'll see that he's running a a bond Turbo, Bond Rammer, and Bounty IRM on this thing. He's running food. He does not have a directive. So the only try-hard thing he's not doing is a directive. That was a little bit interesting to me right there. And he said this is the only setup that he runs, and it works for, for everything. So he doesn't have a second setup for it. Very cool. So we're here on Serene Coast. On Serene Coast. Oh, we got to make the map just a little bit bigger there so we can see what's going on. And we're going to drop some serious damage. So let's go ahead and get started with this and see what Scorp does. If I was professional, I'd already have this done. Maybe that's just something that's part of my channel. Support, my Support his position. All right, on Serene Coast, we're going up to the northwest section of the map. You'll notice that he's mid-tier in a three-tier battle, which means he's got some extra hit points up, up above to uh, gather and some fewer hit points in the tier sevens. But that puts him kind of in a sweet spot at tier 8 because he can handle the tier 9s and he can dominate the tier 7s and the tier 8s obviously he can deal with as well. So I think a lot of times being mid-tier in these situations can really be quite good. Obviously upper tier you can dominate everything but if you think about extra experience for destroying and damaging upper tier tanks plus the credits etc yada yada this may be the sweet spot. I mean, if you can do really, really well bottom tier, then obviously that works better. But of course, then you're looking at being bottom tier. So, you know, I think the, the mid-tier stuff sometimes can be absolutely fantastic in terms of a setup if you have a good game. So here we come up to the fight, and we're going to start using that really nice turret this thing has. And it's quite tall. So he's going to maybe look for some guys for their back. Nope. Oh, he bounces the Lance and see on the first shot. And... There are going to be a lot of shots here, people. And he's got a lot of tar tar targets. <laughs> he's got a ton of targets. And that's our first damage. 405 on our way to a bunch. I won't give away exactly how much, but it is a lot. You may have seen this. As, as I said, he posted it on the forum. So we thumped the turtle right away. Here's something that I thought was very interesting, though, and I didn't mention it earlier. I will right now. Look at this. He's only carrying a few of the special rounds, but the pen is 307. That's not a typo. 307. And then when we go to special round, we get 65. Oh, it's an HE special round. Well, there you go. He's got it in a different order, and the standard is 258. All right, so that's what he's really thrown me for a loop right here. He has a bunch. All right, I was completely wrong. He has a ton. <laughs> In fact, he's completely loaded out with the special ammo. 307. All right, but even the standard round is 258, which is really nice for a tier 8. I was going to say, that didn't make a lot of sense if he was really doing the try-hard 100% three-mark fetish thing. He really needed to have the special rounds, and he did. So he doesn't even bother. He just puts it in the number one spot so it automatically loads up, and he doesn't have to even think about it. What is this Leo doing? He's just like, hey, guys, what's happening? <laughs> is that another 400 hit points for us? Probably. Yep, there we go. <laughs> Just ram him, P43. is Oh, don't make Scorp deal with him. Scorp's going to have to deal with him. <laughs> nope, okay, there we go. That delayed us a little bit. I mean, that might have also been a factor in not getting the actual world record. Uh, we had to deal with that guy getting crazy. I don't know how that shot hit Scorp. I have no idea, but well done. It did. Now, you would think a turtle would be problems. It's not. Not really. Not really. Scorpion, he's got that 307 or whatever it is pen. He should be able to go right through. You notice the spot he was going after is that little flat plate side. Look at that. Boink. 418, baby. That's the other thing about this gun is it hits hard. What's it doing? 400, I believe. Stop it. Scorp, stop doing that to me. 440, even better. 
Four oh six. What's with the low rolls, man? <laughs> He's getting so many low rolls in here. I don't know how many shots we've taken while I've been talking. Uh, we're already at three thousand three hundred and sixty-three, and I will give a little spoiler here. We're not even halfway there yet. A bounce off the Udes. Those things can have a bunch of armor or not a bunch of armor. It's a really uh, schizophrenic armor layout on that thing. Sometimes it just bounce, bounce, bounce. Other times it's just nothing. It really has a lot to do with the angle because it's it's a armor profile that's dealing with angle and not so much as thickness or much more than thickness. Dude's still alive though. This is going to be some X. I don't know what happened to that shot. We'd have to back up and slow it down. Obviously, it missed in some fashion. There we go. Now we're going to figure this out. There it is. 488. Four, that was a good high roll right there. And we're at 4,500. So we're over the halfway mark. Getting a lot of bounces also, folks. Notice 3,510 damage bounce. Finally, this Super Hellcat got a piece of him. He must have figured out how to shoot his hole or something. We're going to shoot into a blind spot. Or maybe, I don't know, did he hit your tiny little weak spot hatch up there? Oh, <laughs> somebody did. <laughs> I wonder if that was the Hellcat. Could have been. There is a very small cupola. It is a weak spot. Now, one thing about getting these massive damage games is they tend to be longer than usual, although we're only five minutes into this one and a bunch of guys are dead. Uh, it tends to be the rest of the team doesn't do great and the enemy team sort of feeds you. So... On that big fight on the corner, that's one of the big feeding frenzy corners. And if you can get them stuffed on the back side of the hill and you've got enough guys to do the hold down thing like Scorp's team did, you can absolutely uh, just grind out some damage. And when you're dropping 440 off of a relatively fast firing tank with a nice turret like this, you're doing some good work. Now, where were we on the market? Yeah, okay, so we've already gone to three with this bad boy and we're looking. I think he was doing this game during his... 100% session. He'd have to let us know if he's in the comments down below. Now recently I put out a video talking about this as one of the better Bond tanks that you can get. It is in the Bond shop. I believe you can also buy it. I'm not sure if you can buy it outright, but it is in the Bond shop. And it does a really nice job. I'm also going to mention it on a video coming up. I don't know if this one will be before or after that, but we're going to talk about the best tanks for making credits. And this is another tank that really exists in that realm as well. It is a little tricky. You can see he's doing some nice side scraping action right here. It is a little tricky, but given the right situation, obviously, as you can see, it's a dominant. 5,251 damage. Now, he's doing some side scraping. The side armor is okay, but not amazing. Now, Scorp uh, has a good idea how to play this thing. He just does not want to let this dude have more shots than he needs. Of course, he comes out far enough now. The dude's, yep, he's going to punch him right in that hole that's weak right there. And now that guy's afraid because he knows he's a one-shot to score. Boom, down he goes. <laughs> 307 pen, fellas. It's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt. <laughs> that poor KV-4 really had no chance. The turret on this thing is one of the things that makes it so flexible and good as a TD. It really is a heavy tank, frankly. It's a heavy tank with a giant gun. Just It's just the way it plays. Now, he's going to reverse side scrape. This is something he mentioned. Is he going to actually do it here, or is he just kind of trying to figure it out? He's going to reverse side scrape here, as he mentioned in his write-up, which is not something I'd really thought about with this tank or done. Now that's the T95. What is that over there? 705. Okay, so it's the 705. He doesn't really want to poke on the 705. So we've got some more hit points moving in. There goes a setter kind of cruising around over there. Don't really have a shot. Not sure what the 705, why he's not pushing. I guess he's, no, nope, he's getting beat up by the T-34, it appears. So Scorp's going to bail out on that, deal with the 705 later. Plus, there's not a lot of hit points left on that guy. 5,879 damage, 174 assists. There's the super that hit him earlier. He's going to take a bunch of hit points off that guy. Boom. Very nice for 426. Another low roll right there. And we're up to 6,305. Setter's out in the open. He's going <laughs> to... He's going to pay. Takes a big hit. Now, that looked like a fairly low. I did not know what the velocity is on that. 870. So there's a, that's a little tricky. Like most tanks, once you get used to it, you don't worry about it as much. But 870 is a little slow. So you do have to compensate for that, especially on any left to right or right to left 
line of sight kind of shots with lead fire. It'll be a little more difficult with the low line of sight, or sorry, low velocity. The 705 has no idea. Did he just figure it out? You know, he knows he's in trouble now, baby. Oop. Oh, he shot HE. All right. <laughs> Let's just pause here for a minute. <laughs> Another thing that often happens on these really big games like this is you get away with something because somebody makes a mistake themselves or they're a bad player or whatever. The 705 was probably trying to shoot the T-34's turret with HE, or maybe he's just an HE guy. Uh, so we really got away with one right there. Hit us with HP and apparently didn't pen for only 212. Had that been a regular round, Scorpion more than likely, Scorpion more than likely would be out of it. But he's not, right? It's not necessarily if you get lucky, it's what you do with it afterwards. And we are not done with the damage. We're at 6,800. 3,510 bounce. We haven't been able to bounce any for a while. Mostly because we haven't been able to go hold down too much. There's a lot of hit points left on that K91 PT. The other three don't have a lot of hit points to give. They're down there beating up on the T95. Oh, Scorp misses that guy with a little auto aim. He does get lit. It looks like he's maybe worried. Yeah, the Super Hellcat's up there. And he's a one-shot to everybody at this point, I believe. Even the setter can take him down at 112 hit points. T34 moves out into the open. I feel like he's about to get thumped by the Hellcat at some point. Phase 1 dies, so he does get the Phase 1 out. There's the Hellcat again. All right, notice that what happened there for you new players, Scorp needed to get his gun around. He spun his hole and his turret at the same time. That is a skill for you new players out there. Gets a kill on the uh, Super Hellcat as well while I was talking. That is how you get your gun the fastest as far as turning in an arc. All right, so if you need to, someone's behind you and you need to get your gun on, don't drive forward and turn and turn your turret. Spin your hole and turn your turret at the same time. That will give you the most movement. Let me show you what he's doing with his camera because we found the K91 PT with all his hit points. And he backs out and gives us another little, oh, another armor not hit event. We're at 7,223. There's only three of us alive. Oh, and there's a little bit of that bad velocity. Now, the shot just went high, but you can see that arc kind of going across there. Scorp's going to move up. He's got a low hit point T95, low hit point T34, and himself. we got six kills, 7,233 damage. Still sitting on 3,500 and some change. We ram into the world's strongest house. We got 174 assist. Using the T95 a bit as cover. Let's go, mate. So he's like, all right, man, let's do this thing. There he is. Oh, did we get spotted? Hard to tell. Okay. You can only see our turret. That's a good thing. Oh, and he gets the T34. This does give us a moment to aim in on him. There we go. This is a pretty good position for the T-103. It looks like the K-91 sort of gets that and does not want to sit there and eat shots from the turret. What is... Oh, man. That would have been nice. We have a T-34 friend. What is he doing? Unknown. Okay. K-91 wants to move to somewhere else. Is he really going to come out in the open? Nope, he doesn't. Got to be careful because the front of the tank, if we stick it out, he may pick that before we really are able to... Oh, we're going to just sneak one right there. Yeah. <laughs> nice. K91's like, how on earth? That's the old one pixel shot. So he's facing that way. Scorp goes the way he's facing. The T34 is looking at him. Now he's looking at Scorp. We have 8,052 damage. Only 49 left. Looks like the T34 is going to get the kill. I guess. I don't know. What's he doing? Does he have a shot? Oh, he's kind of behind a rock. Oh, he disappears. <laughs> he, dis he just turns on the cloaking device and the 34 loses him. How That is bizarre. All right, there we go. Maybe we'll get this shot. There we go. A little auto aim. Boom. And he's gone. Nice. Seven kills. 8,101, at least as far as what it says here. I think there might be a little bit more from a blind shot. We'll have to take a look at the cards at the end. 3,510 Bounce 174 assists for an epic T103 game from Scorpiani and Clan Ninja. 
well done world record other than the RU so on NA South America SEA EU I think he said there's two RU players with better damage but good on him for putting this out because sometimes you see these, these epic games these epic damage games you look at like this looks like maybe a little collusion or silliness going on here obviously none of that going on it's just a full up game nicely done by Scorp in there Awesome, man. Awesome. Congrats on that. Congrats on the 100% and the three mark on that thing. Uh, you know, carry on with your three mark fetish, my friend. <laughs> that is all I've got. Let me know what you guys think down below. This is this is a bit of a hidden gem. I think uh, Scorp said that in his write-up. I happen to agree with it. I think it's a good tank for Bonds. has a really high skill ce ceiling. The, the gun is good and the turret is good and the mobility is good enough. It kind of has everything that you need to do well in the game, as long as you're careful with the whole and although its mobility is decent it's not amazing so it, you can get caught out as long as you can do some standoff and hold down stuff it's an absolute monster that's all i've got for today we will see ya